Crystal Allenton is a mother of three who got her college degree while raising her kids and experiencing homelessness. Uh, my kids and I um, had this new life that we started and it was because there was domestic violence in our home. You know, I wanted a better future for us. And so, um, you know, I kid you not, we, we uh, found a safe place to live and my very next step was to take the college entrance exam. At 30 years old, Crystal became a college student, attending WGU Washington while couch surfing at friends' houses with her children. During her final year of school, Crystal found herself and her three kids sharing beds at a homeless shelter. It was just devastating to kind of be in this place of, you know, I'm so close. <laughs> and even just um, being able to get a bed in the shelter was quite a feat. You know, there were times when I would you know, cry and pray and <laughs> just kind of wonder what was going to happen to us. Despite the many obstacles in her way, Crystal was determined to graduate for her kids. I wanted my kids to see that you can be ambitious and you can also struggle, whether it was staying up later while they were in bed to do assignments or working while they were napping. Um, it was all about, you know, quality time with them and showing them that I could be a mom um, and I could also be a person who valued education. Thanks to the homeless liaison at her children's school, Crystal was able to move out of the shelter and into her family's own home. She knows it takes a village and her kids were there to support her as well. They've definitely been my biggest cheerleaders for sure. Um, and I know that they're really proud of me. Crystal is now teaching high school in Pennsylvania with two master's degrees. She is far from the WGU college student she once was, but the school wanted to honor Crystal for all her hard work. So the school created a mural of Crystal. She says it's a beacon of hope and encouragement to all who pass by. Anytime you can be passionate about what you're doing and take the steps to get there and to make it happen, um, you will succeed. Caitlin O'Kane for The Uplift.